What's going on, guys? Derek here from Williston Audio slash Wheelie Williston. Today we're looking at a brand called Zuki Audio, and specifically the Elites One. And this is one of two Zuki Audio amplifiers I'm going to be showing you here on my second channel. Make sure you're subscribed. These amps were around for a little while in the early 2000s. You can see here these whack ratings, 5 watts times 1 at 8 ohms, 10 watts times 1 at 4 ohms, $770. What is going on here? And yeah, people leaving comments about it like, we don't understand this. Why are you going to say it's rated 10 watts? Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand either. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a lot of information about the owner, Patrick. But again, today we're going to look at the Elites one channel. It's not just Elite, it's Elites. The amp doesn't look too bad at all. It is a mono block, as I mentioned earlier, has a switch off and on for the low pass, connection for the low pass, line in, line out, and link in. This is a bridgeable amplifier, can use it with others. There's some adjustments here, THD, subsonic, low pass filter, room control, bass EQ, configuration for master, or slave, or phase. Now it's funny, it has a THD control, that's really the gain control, and the room control is actually the bass boost level. So not really sure why they used all that. The speaker outputs are here. They're 8 gauge. And there's power and protection LEDs as well. Again, this is a monoblock amp, but it has two connections there for you. There's a remote 4 gauge for power and ground. And then there are five 40 amp fuses for 200 amps worth of fusing. Now what I typically do on these videos is I'll show you the dyno test and then pretty much show you the guts and not talk a lot after that. So here's the amp all hooked up. Let's find out what happened during the day of the test. Stay tuned. Certified run for the Zuki uh, Elites One channel, whatever in the freak they call it. It's ready to do five watts. So let's see. So 247 watts at 14.4. Current pull is 27.2 amps. All right, Zuki Elites 1, 4 ohms mono, certified 1% THD. Amp is rated to do 10 watts. Yes, 10 watts. I think we're going to be able to do that. Let's try it out. Five hundred and thirteen watts. 14.38, uh, 54.6 amps. All right, now we'll try the Zuki Elites mini mono block here. Two ohm certified 1% THD at 40 hertz. Nine eighty seven, fourteen point three. Luke says 114.8 amps. All right, Zuki Elites, two ohms, uncertified up to clipping. 14.3. Pop the fuse. Why do we pop a fuse? 12.33. 14.1, we pulled 143.6 amps, and we popped a fuse, so I have to replace them. So the 2 ohm uncertified run absolutely dismantled the fuses in this amp. That one you can actually see the blow, but the rest of them, they pretty much just came apart. I mean, it fried them. These right here just completely broke when I went to pull them out. So hopefully I've got five 40 amp fuses to put back in there. Dynamic burst, 40 hertz, two ohms, Zuki Elites, one, one channel mono, whatever you want to call it. Twelve forty seven, fourteen point two six. All right, Zuki Audio. This is the Elites One Channel, and first up, we're going to try one ohm, forty hertz, certified, one percent THD. 
Let's see what she does. Sixteen thirty, fourteen volts, one hundred and eighty-seven amps. All right, now we'll try forty hertz, one ohm, uncertified, the Zuki Elites, one channel. Nineteen ninety one, fourteen point two two, and we pulled two hundred and twenty seven point eight amps. All right, now we're going to try the Zuki Elites one channel, forty hertz, one ohm dynamic burst. Twenty four ninety six, one ohm, fourteen point four seven. Clamp says using the inrush mode, we pull two hundred twenty nine point eight amps. All right, we have this Zuki Audio Elites one channel here on the dyno, and we're gonna try it at point eight dynamic burst. See what it'll do. <laughs> Went into protect pretty quickly. So no point eight on this sugar. Nothing less than one ohm. Oh. 